हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय न्यू वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट सीरीज एंड पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स यू माइट हैव स्टडीड इन टेंथ क्लास अबाउट द सीरीज एंड पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंसेस यस वी आल्सो हैव सीरीज एंड पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स इन द फर्स्ट फिगर यू कैन सी टू स्प्रिंग्स हु स्प्रिंग कांस्टेंट्स आर के1 एंड के2 आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विद ए ब्लॉक ऑफ मास m and in the second figure two springs of spring constants k1 and k2 are connected in parallel to the block m so we can find out that what is the equivalent spring constant in both the cases equivalent spring constant means if it is possible to replace both of these springs k1 and k2 by one single spring of a spring constant k equivalent in such a way that uh, the time period of oscillation in this case and in the equivalent case must be same then we will say that k equivalent is the equivalent spring constant of k1 and k2 or otherwise in other way also let us say we imagine about the potential energy stored in the spring suppose this block this block is given a displacement towards the right side so both the springs will get elongated then this first spring will store some potential energy and second spring will also store potential energy and if the in case of this equivalent spring if we displace the block by the same amount then this equivalent spring will also store potential energy so if the potential energy stored in this equivalent spring is equal to the sum of the potential energy is stored in k1 and k2 then we will say that this k equivalent is the equivalent spring constant of k1 and k2 so what is the formula to calculate the k equivalent the formula is very simple in case of series combination the formula is 1 divided by k equivalent is equal to 1 divided by k1 plus 1 divided by k2 that means the reciprocal of the equivalent spring constant is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of the springs constants connected in series we might see that this formula is opposite a reverse of the resistances combination because in the combination of resistances for parallel combination we have this formula but for the springs connected in series the same is acting like the formula for series combination now coming back to the simple harmonic motion and time period as we know that the time period of uh, oscillation of a spring block system is given by the formula 2 pi root m by k now where k is only one spring so because only one spring k equivalent is connected to this block m so we can write see the formula 2 pi root m upon k equivalent then from here we can substitute the value and we will get the answer as 2 pi root of m multiplied by 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 here you see m divided by k equivalent means m multiplied with 1 by k equivalent so 1 by k equivalent is 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 gets multiplied to m so in this way we will find out the time period of oscillation for series combination let's come to the parallel combination here once again this arrangement of two springs in parallel can be replaced with one single spring of a spring constant k equivalent in this parallel combination system the k equivalent will be given by the sum of the spring constants k1 plus k2 once again you can see this is the opposite formula of the Uh, uh, parallel combination of the uh, resistances in case of resistances parallel combination formula given by this and the series combination formula is given by this but in springs it becomes completely opposite so while remembering the formula students you must be very careful to remember the concept that the formula for series and parallel combination of spring is exactly opposite of the formula for series and combination of resistances now after finding out the equivalent spring constant we can now write on the time period of oscillation the time period of oscillation for any spring block system is given by 2 pi root m upon k where k will be the k equivalent then k equivalent value is k1 plus k2 so which implies that the time period will be given by 2 pi root m divided by k1 plus k2 so is it simple it's very simple okay now in addition to these two types of combination series and parallel there is one more combination which is possible is shown here 
this is the third type of combination in this combination a block is connected in the middle and on the both sides we have spring k1 and k2 and the spring connected to walls is it a series combination or a parallel combination but so see here if this system can be replaced by a single spring of a spring constant k equivalent and the same mass then actually the spring constant in this case will be given by k1 plus k2 which is similar to the answer for the parallel combination so though it doesn't look like parallel but actually it behaves like parallel so it looks like series actually but it is actually acting like parallel its equivalent spring constant is k1 plus k2 so therefore the time period of oscillation would be given by 2 pi root m by k1 plus k2 then the, here is the summary of all the three things that we studied just now so the actual system is given by these three figures equivalent system we can replace all of these with only one spring and one mass then the equivalent spring constant will be given by in case of series combination 1 by k equivalent is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 in parallel combination k equivalent is k1 plus k2 and this type of combination where the block is in the middle and springs are on the either sides k equivalent is k1 plus k2 you may uh, think that why the third case answer is same as the parallel combination it can be understood like this suppose in this parallel combination this block m is given a displacement x to the rightward direction then both of these springs will get elongated by the same amount x and x so the potential energy stored in the first spring will be half k1 x square potential energy in the second spring will be half k2 x square same thing will happen here also you see if this block m is given a displacement to the rightward direction x then this k2 will get compressed by x distance and k1 will get elongated by the same x distance so the potential energy stored in this k2 will be half k2 x square and potential energy in the spring k1 will be half k1 x square so ultimately the summation of the potential energy in these two springs is same as the summation of potential energy in, in these two springs that is why the k equivalent has got the same formula so this type of arrangement should be thought of as a parallel combination of springs only. Let us now apply this concept to a question. In this situation, find the equivalent spring constant and find the time period of oscillation. Let us see. So on the left hand side, we have two springs in parallel. On the right side, we have three springs in parallel, all having the same spring constant key. So we know that in parallel combination k equivalent will be given by k1 plus k2 and on the right side also all three are parallel so k equivalent will be given by k1 plus k2 plus k3 that means right side will be 3k and left side will be 2k so we can draw the figure like this left hand side spring constant 2k right side 3k now this combination is similar to the parallel combination and the total equivalent spring constant will be 2k plus 3k that is equal to 5k and therefore time period of oscillation given by the formula 2 pi root m upon k equivalent k equivalent is 5k so i hope that you enjoyed this problem and a very easy simple trick to solve the question please like this video kindly leave your comments what do you want to say any more improvements in this video required and please share it with your classmates so they also can learn and please subscribe to my channel which is www.youtube.com slash the physics guru. Thank you.